What's up guys, Brent here with thedroiddemos.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to root the Samsung Galaxy S3. This should work for all the versions. Uh, I haven't tested it for the Verizon version, um, but uh, for all the other versions, Sprint, Rogers, uh, AT&T, International, this should work for you guys. So the first thing that you're going to want to do to start out, have your phone unplugged, and go ahead and download the s 3 rootzip file that I have. And I've already placed, downloaded it and placed it on my desktop. Uh, which we can go ahead and click right click and extract all when we have it and I'm just going to leave it on my desktop click extract and it's going to make us this folder here and we can go ahead and open this folder and inside we're going to have this sprint l710 file uh, this is a .exe file we can go ahead and double click on this these are the drivers um, in order to uh, use the connect the phone to the computer so just go ahead and click yes and it says that I've already installed them because I've done this before but for you uh, make sure you go through if you haven't already and just continue with the installation of the drivers once you have those drivers installed we can go ahead and plug in the phone so I'm going to plug in the USB and once it's plugged in your phone should show up here on the left side as long as the drivers are installed um, it could pop up like this either way. Um, we can go ahead and still in this S3 root folder, we're going to go ahead and drag the Team Epic root uh, right here. This is a zip file, Team Epic root from recovery. This is the version, this is version 5, but there may be a newer version when you watch, watch this video. Uh, we can go ahead and drag this directly onto our phone in the uh, sidebar. So just drag it right over here. And once we do that, just make sure that it's over here. Go ahead and click through here. You see this Team Epic root from recovery. The zip file is there, so we're all good. We can go ahead and unplug the phone now. Um, since it's connected to a media, as a media device, we, there's no, no ejecting that we need to do. So go ahead and unplug your phone. And once it's unplugged, we can go ahead and go back to the S3 root folder. And inside here, you have an Odin folder. This is the program that we're going to be using to uh, push some files to the device. So go ahead and open that folder and then double click on this Odin 3 version 3.04. Uh, again, there may be a newer version when you download this, but when, whatever it is, just open the Odin program, uh, rather. Um, right click on the Odin uh, program and click Run as Administrator. And go ahead and click Yes. And then this is going to take you into Odin 3. So the first thing that we're going to do right here is go ahead and press PDA. And this is going to open up the Explorer. And the file that we're going to open right here is in the S3 root folder that you downloaded. So if you have it on your desktop, just go there, S3 root. And we're going to go ahead and select this tar file right here. This is the clockwork mod recovery that we're going to be putting on the device. So just go ahead and click that and click open. And then once we're here, we're going to go ahead and uncheck auto reboot. We don't want that. Uh, leave F reset time check there. Make sure the check is shown right next to PDA. And then we should be good to go. Then we're going to get, go ahead and turn off the phone. So go to your phone. And go ahead and hold the power button to turn it off. Click power off. OK. And now that your phone is off, we're going to go ahead and put it into download mode. We're going to go ahead and hold the volume down button, the power button, and the home button all at the same time. So click and hold those at the same time. All at the same time until the first th screen lights up and then let go. There we go. It says volume up to continue. So we're going to go ahead and click volume up. And this is going to put us into download mode, as you see here. So we can go ahead and plug in our phone to the computer. And our phone should connect to Odin. And now you see here, we see up here to make sure that it's connected. You'll see this highlighted in blue. We got com and then a number. It doesn't matter what that number is. It may be 7, 8, whatever. Uh, mine says an 8, but it should say com 8. That just means that Odin has recognized 
our device and we can go ahead and continue. So the next thing we're going to do is just press the start button uh, right down here. Just click start and it's going to go ahead and push that recovery file to the device and there you see it's already done. So once it's done we can go ahead and unplug our phone and you'll notice that the phone is still on since we didn't select that auto reboot so go ahead and uh, I, I'm just going to unplug the USB over here and then we can go ahead and take the battery out just by the top of the device take off the back and we're going to take the battery out you see the phone's off now and put it back in There we go. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and put it into recovery mode by pressing the volume up button, not the volume down, volume up button, home button, and the power button until we see the screen light up. And then we're going to let go. There we go. And then the phone should go into recovery mode. So here we are in the clockwork mod recovery that Odin just put onto the device. We're going to go ahead and go to install zip from SD card. You can use the volume buttons to navigate in this menu. So I'm going to go ahead and click volume down and then the power button to select it. And then choose zip from SD card. Uh, it, if you followed my directions, you probably put it onto the internal SD card. So we can go ahead and go right there to choose zip from internal SD card, press the power button. And then go down to the bottom, and right here you see the Team Epic root from recovery file that we uh, transferred to the device uh, just a little while ago. You can go ahead and hit the power button to select that, and then scroll down using the volume keys to yes install, and hit the power button to do that. It's going to run through this, flash zip this zip file, complete. As you see here, it says installation complete. We can use the volume buttons to go, go back and then reboot system now and then we're all done and here we are in the device if you just go ahead and unlock it go into your apps scroll over you'll now notice that you have a super user file here in the app drawer that's going to be the application that grants all access to your uh, root apps like titanium backup um, if you want to make sure, if you have that, you should have root. Uh, but just to make sure, if you want to, you can go ahead and download an app from the Play Store called uh, Root Check Basic, and that's just going to allow you to make sure that you have root. Uh, you can also open an app like Titanium Backup, and that will tell you if, if you have root as well. So again, this is how to root the Samsung Galaxy S3. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments. Go ahead and give, the, give this video a thumbs up if it helps you out. Uh, go ahead and like me and on Facebook and Twitter. Those links are in the description or below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, be sure to subscribe um, so you can get those videos, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.